Hello. Good evening. Last class, we were discussing about inverse circular functions. I told you, if y is sin x, then x is sin inverse y. x is sin inverse y. Example, you know sin 90 is 1, sin pi by 2 is 1, we write sin inverse 1 as pi by 2, sin was 1 as pi by 2. Inverse circular functions are always expressed in terms of radians. Another example, if x is equal to cos y, then y is equal to cos inverse Example, cos pi by 3 is half, cos 60 degrees is half, therefore cos inverse half is pi by 3. Now, inverse circular functions are expressed in terms of radians. Similarly, if x is equal to tan y, then y is equal to tan inverse x. Example, tan pi by 4 is 1, therefore we write tan inverse 1 as pi by 3. We express all inverse functions, the sin inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, etc. are all called inverse circular functions, are called inverse circular functions. Now, we discussed some properties last class, that is, sin inverse x is same as cosecant inverse 1 by x. This cosecant is the reciprocal of sin. If you have sin inverse x, cosecant inverse 1 by x. Cos inverse x is secant inverse 1 by x tan inverse x is cot inverse 1 by x. See that this cot is reciprocal of tan, secant is reciprocal of cos, cosecant is reciprocal of sin. Then if you have argument x here, here you get argument 1 by x. If you have argument x here, we get argument 1 by x. If you have argument x here, here we get argument 1 by x. Example, sin inverse 3 by 5 is same as cosecant inverse 5 by 3. Cosecant inverse 5 by 3. That argument is reversed here. Similarly, cos inverse 1 by 2 is same as secant inverse 2. Similarly, tan inverse 3 by 7 nothing but cot inverse 7 by 3. Now these are the properties, these are the examples corresponding to first property. Coming to second property, second set of properties says sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Cos is a co-function of sin. If you have function and its cos function, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. And similarly, um, tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x is equal to pi by 2. If you have function and its co-function, function and its cos function corresponding inverse, sin inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, cot inverse, irrespective of the argument, if you have x, x, pi by 2, x, x, inverse pi by 2. So, this is second set of properties. This can be proved easily, but it is enough you remember the result. What I can prove this, I will prove one result. I will prove the first one, you can try others. 
Now we take uh, sin inverse x as theta. We take sin inverse x as theta. <coughs> then x by definition is sin theta. x by definition is sin theta. We write sin theta as cos pi by 2 minus theta. We write sin theta as cos pi by 2 minus theta. X is cos pi by 2 minus theta, therefore pi by 2 minus theta is nothing but cos inverse x. Pi by 2 minus theta is cos inverse x. Cos inverse x. Therefore pi by 2 is theta plus cos inverse x. It is pi by 2. Theta stands for sin inverse x. You get sin inverse x plus cos inverse x. So, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. You get first result. Similarly, you can prove that secant inverse plus uh, uh, cosecant inverse is pi by 2. Tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2. This is second uh, set of properties. Third set of properties, third set says sin inverse sin theta is theta cos inverse cos theta is theta tan inverse tan theta is equal to theta this is third set of properties or sin inverse sin theta is theta cos inverse cos theta is theta tan inverse tan theta is theta or we can also remember this property in this form sin of sin inverse x is x cos of cos inverse x is equal to x tan of tan inverse x is equal to x so we can also remember like this this is very easy to prove you take sin inverse sin x as theta sin of sin x as theta then by definition sin x is equal to sin theta Therefore, x is equal to theta. Therefore, this theta is replaced by x. You get a property. Sin of sin x is x and so on. Now, fourth set of, fourth set of results, fourth set of results, we are having sin inverse x plus sin inverse y. x minus sin inverse y is sin inverse x into root of 1 minus y square minus y into root of 1 minus x square. Similarly, we have another result cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is cos inverse x y minus root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus y square. This is cos inverse x plus cos inverse. What is the advantage of We have two inverse functions. We can convert these two sum of two inverse functions as a single inverse function, sine inverse of a simple argument. Similarly, cos inverse x plus cos inverse y, tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. We can express sum. We can also express difference. If you have difference here, you get difference here. If you have difference here, you get positive sign here. So cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is cos inverse x y minus root of one minus x square root of one minus y square. Whereas cos inverse x minus cos inverse y is cos inverse xy plus root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus y square. We can easily prove this result. Proving the result is very simple. Anyhow, I will prove 1. I will give the other 2. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Whereas tan was x minus tan was y, tan was x minus y by 1 plus x y, 1 plus x y. So we are having 
sum of tan versus x and tan versus y and the difference tan versus x minus tan versus y can be expressed like this. Now, I will prove one thing I, I can prove this one. You take tan inverse a x as tan inverse y as b then by definition of inverse function x is equal to tan a y is equal to tan this is by definition of inverse circular function x is equal to tan a y is equal to tan b consider tan a plus b expand tan of a plus b it is tangent of a tangent of b by 1 minus tan a tan b 1 minus tan a tan b replace tan a by x tan b by y tan a tan b x y so therefore from this you get x plus y by 1 minus x y 1 minus x y from this by definition of inverse function a plus b is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y. A stands for tan versus x. A stands for tan versus x. B stands for tan inverse y. So tan versus x plus tan versus y is tan versus x plus y by 1 minus x y. So sum of two inverse functions can be expressed as single inverse function. That's the advantage here because in solving I problems you may have to convert like this 2 as 1 or 3 as 1 like that so we are solving simple simple problems based similarly if you have sin versus x sin versus y sin versus x as a sin versus y as b x is sin a y is sin b you take sin a plus b you want cos cos inverse x cos inverse y consider cos a plus b cos a minus b and so on you can easily derive other two results okay once you know these results we are making use of these results to solve some standard problems. For example, you express cos of 2 tan inverse x, you express cos of 2 tan inverse x as a function of x. You express cos of 2 tan inverse x as a function of x. What we do is, you take tan inverse x as theta. You take tan inverse x as theta. Then by definition, x is equal to tan theta. x is equal to tan theta. Therefore, we are getting cos 2 theta. We are getting cos 2 theta. We know the formula for cos 2 theta in terms of tan theta. For tan theta. That is 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Cos 2 theta is 1 minus tan square theta by 1. That is, you get 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. We are able to express cos 2 tan inverse x, cos 2 tan inverse x in terms of x like this. Okay. Next. Suppose we are having second problem this is one iid problem very simple iid problem sin of 2 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x sin of 2 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x just now we have seen tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2. Therefore, we are writing this as 1 tan inverse x I am writing as such. Another tan inverse x plus cot inverse x. Tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is replaced by pi by 2. According to what property? According to one property, tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2. Therefore, we are having sine of pi by 2 plus tan inverse x. Pi by 2 plus tan inverse x. This is the form sine 90 plus theta. 
90 plus theta is an angle in the second quadrant. Second quadrant sine is positive. For pi by 2, you get co-function. You get cos of tan inverse x. You get cos of tan inverse x. Cos of tan inverse x, just as before, we replace tan inverse x by theta. We replace tan inverse x by theta. Then x is equal to tan theta. x is equal to tan theta. Therefore, we are getting cos of the theta. Cos of theta. Once you know tan theta, once you know tan theta, tan theta is x by 1, x by 1. Therefore, this is root of 1 plus x by 1. Root of 1 plus x by 1. Therefore, cos theta is nothing but 1 by root of 1 plus x by 1. We have expressed sine of 2 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x in terms of x 1 by root of 1 plus x by 1. I repeat again, we retain 1 tan inverse x, another tan inverse x plus cot inverse x together gives us pi by 2, this gives us pi by 2, pi by 2 plus tan inverse x, this is cos of tan inverse x, you replace this by theta, you get cos theta, when tan inverse x is theta, x is tan theta, so therefore, if you draw a triangle, tan theta is opposite by adjacent side, this side becomes root of 1 plus x square. Therefore, cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse is 1 by root of 1 plus x square. If we have expressed this in terms of a function of x, 1 by root of 1 plus x square. Okay. Now we will solve some difficult problems. This is one uh, IIT problem. Problem that is cos of two sine inverse two sine inverse minus root three by two plus sine of two cos inverse minus half. cos of 2 sin inverse minus root 3 by 2, sin of 2 cos inverse minus half, 4 answers are given, that is 1 minus 1, root 3 by, root 3 plus 1 by 2, minus of root 3 plus 1 by 2, 4 answers are given. Now it is a very interesting problem. It involves a lot of concepts. First of all, we are converting sine inverse minus root 3 by 2. We are expressing minus root 3 by 2 in terms of sine function. In terms of sine function. So for that, what we do is, You take left hand side. Cos of two sine inverse. We are replacing minus root three by two as sine pi plus pi by three. That is sine. 5 plus pi by 3. We are replacing minus root 3 by 2. Sin 5 plus pi by 3 is minus sin pi by 3. Minus sin 60. Sin minus sin 60 minus root 3 by 2. This is one term. Next term, we are writing sin of 2 cos inverse. We know cos 120 is minus of, that is cos 2 pi pi 3 is 120, cos 120, cos 120 is minus of, minus half is replaced by cos 2 pi by 3. Now, <clears throat> sin inverse sin theta is theta, cos inverse cos theta is theta. 
making use of that result i repeat again we are replacing minus root 3 by 2 by sin pi plus pi by 3 sin pi plus pi by 3 is minus sin pi by 3 that is minus sin 60 that is minus root 3 by 2 minus half is replaced by cos 2 pi by 3 because cos 2 pi by 3 is cos 120 cos 120 is cos 180 minus 60 that is minus cos 60 minus half therefore we are having replacement of minus root 3 by 2 by sine of this sine of 4 pi by 3 and minus of the sine 2 pi by 3 now this is sine 4 pi by 3 sine inverse sine 4 pi by 3 is equal to cos of 2 sin inverse sin pi plus pi by 3 is pi plus pi by 3 that is 4 pi by 3 and you get a 4 already 2 is there 8 pi by 3 we are having 8 pi by 3 plus sin of 2 times cos inverse cos 2 pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3 applying property cos inverse cos x is x cos inverse cos 2 pi by 3 is pi by 2 pi by 3 2 times 2 pi by 3 you get 4 pi by 3 get 4 pi by 3. Now it's very easy for us to simplify this. It's very easy for us to simplify this. Cos 8 pi by 3, we are writing this as 2 pi plus pi by 3, 6, you get cos 2 pi plus 2 pi by 3, 6 plus 2, 8, and here we write this as pi plus pi by 3. 2, 18, 360 plus theta, this is nothing but cos 2 pi by 3. 2 pi plus theta, first quadrant, first quadrant all positive, we get 2 pi same function cos 2 pi by 3. Here sin pi by pi plus pi by 3, third quadrant negative, therefore minus sin pi by 3. Cos 2 pi by 3 is minus of sin pi by 3 you get root 3 by 2 therefore you get minus of root 3 plus 1 by 2 so the last answer out of four answers the fourth answer is minus root 3 plus 1 by 2 this is the correct answer so therefore the answer for the given problem is minus root 3 plus 1 by 2 now we have seen the results sin inverse sin x is x cos inverse cos x is this tan plus x plus tan plus y is tan plus x plus y 1 minus x y and so on and uh, we are solving some problems based on uh, all these results based on all these results one sine inverse this kind of problems will be asked in calculus that's why i am giving introduction here itself 5x plus 12 into root of 1 minus x square by 13 sin of 5x plus 12 into root of 1 minus x square by 13. <clears throat> so we can simplify so that that will be useful for further uh, process that is either differentiation or integration. Now what we do is you must know how to simplify such uh, expressions. I am giving x is sin theta when x is sin theta root of 1 minus x square becomes cos theta. Therefore, our problem reduces to sin inverse 5 sin theta plus 12 cos theta by 13. That is sin inverse 5 by 13 sin theta plus 12 by 13 cos theta. How to reduce this? So that you can apply the formula sin inverse sin x is x. We can construct a triangle. We know for a right angle triangle, we know for a right angle triangle, if 5 and 12 are the two adjacent sides of this angle, this side is 13 because root of 25 plus uh, 144, 169, you get 13. Automatically, this side becomes a uh, uh, 13, this side becomes 13, pi by 13 is sin theta or we can also take this way, we can also take this way for convenience sake, for convenience sake, 
we can take uh, this side as 5, this side as 12, no harm in taking like that. This angle is some alpha, we can take this angle as alpha. Yes, <clears throat> therefore, what we do is we are writing sine inverse. Pi by 13 is nothing but cosine of this angle. This angle is alpha. This angle is alpha. This angle is alpha. Therefore, cos alpha is 5 by 13. You get cos alpha sin theta. And automatically for the same triangle, sin alpha is 12 by 13. You get sin alpha cos theta. So we are converting this 5, 12, 13. We are drawing a triangle in such a way uh, for this angle, suitable angle, this is cos alpha 5 by 13 sin alpha is, this is the form sin theta cos alpha cos theta sin alpha. Therefore, this reduces to sin inverse, this is nothing but sin theta plus alpha. Our aim is to convert this in the form sin inverse sin x, which is nothing but theta plus alpha, which is nothing but theta plus alpha. Therefore, what is sin theta we have taken? We have taken x as sin theta. We have taken sin theta, x as sin theta. Therefore, theta is replaced by sin inverse x. Sin inverse x. And alpha is replaced by. So here, uh, we can take uh, cos alpha as uh, 5 by 13. And uh, alpha is cos inverse, cos inverse 5 by 13 or sin inverse 12 by 13, you can write this way or that way. This becomes a constant. Once uh, we call this as y, this is a function of x, this becomes constant. While differentiating, while differentiating, we get 1 by root of 1 minus x square, this becomes constant. <coughs> Therefore, we are expressing the given expression in such a way, one is a, a simple function, the other one is a mere constant. So, at differentiating, automatically, dy by dx, 1 by root of 1 minus x square, differentiating constant we get 0. So we are converting the problem, we are converting the problem sin inverse 5x plus 12 root 1 minus x square by 13 into a simple function sin inverse x plus some constant. It is easy for us for further process. It is easy for further process. Very good. So therefore our answer is we are expressing the given expression as sin inverse x plus cos inverse 5 by 13. Now we are also having some problems under series. We are also having some problems under series. First of all, let us take uh, one series tan inverse x tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square plus tan inverse 3x minus x cube by 1 minus 3x square, etc. Two n terms. First of all, we are simplifying. After that, we can differentiate, we can integrate, we can do whatever you like. First term, we are retaining as it is. Second term, now I repeat again, our problem is, find the sum to n terms of a series, tan inverse x, tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square plus tan inverse 3x minus x square by 1 minus 3x square plus etc. n terms etc. n terms. What to do is to get a rhythm, to get a proper uh, rhythm, you retain first term as it is and second term you consider second term tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square. By giving x is equal to tan theta, by giving x is equal to tan theta, this becomes, second term becomes tan inverse 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. To our surprise, this, the formula for tan 2 theta in terms of tan theta, therefore tan inverse tan 2 theta. By property, it is 2 theta. Tan inverse tan 2 theta is 2 theta. Therefore, tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square reduces to 2 theta. 
where theta is replaced by tan inverse x from this. Therefore, 2 tan inverse x. 2 tan inverse x. Therefore, first term is tan inverse x. Second term is 2 tan inverse x. By giving x is equal to tan theta, 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta by 1 minus 3 tan square theta. This becomes a formula for tan 3 theta. Tan inverse tan 3 theta is 3 theta. 3 times tan inverse x. Therefore, the given series tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square tan inverse 3x minus x cube by 1 minus 3x square etc. becomes becomes tan inverse x plus 2 times tan inverse x plus 3 times tan inverse x see the rhythm plus 4 times tan inverse x etc. n terms etc. n terms by taking tan inverse x out, you get 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc. up to n tan inverse x, etc. tan inverse x. We know sum of n natural numbers. Sum of first n natural numbers is given by n into n plus 1 by 2. n into n plus 1 by 2. So that becomes n into n plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x. Therefore, the given series tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x power minus x square etc. up to n terms, the summation is n into n plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x. We are getting only simple term. We can differentiate this further. You can, if you want, you can integrate. All sorts of things can be done once you are able to get a uh, summation of the series. The summation is done by simplifying, by applying property of inverse function. Simplifying, we get sum of first year natural numbers times tan inverse x. This is the formula n and n plus 1 by 2. You get n and n plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x. So, this is the summation of the given series which is given in the form of inverse functions. Now, there is another very interesting series. Very interesting series. Everyone should know that series. This is IIT problem. Very, very important IIT problem. In many competitive examination, you can expect the problems of this kind under inverse functions. Sigma tan inverse 1 by 1 plus n plus n square is equal to pi by 4. Show that 1 to infinity tan inverse 1 by 1 plus n plus n square is equal to pi by 4. Simple answer. We are getting infinite series. In the previous case we are uh, we had a finite series. Here we are having an infinite series. Sum to infinite number of terms of this tan inverse 1 by 1 plus n by n square, n plus n square where n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 etc. We go up to infinity. We go up to infinity. Show that the summation of that series, that infinite series uh, sum is exactly pi by 4. What we do for that? We simplify this nth term alone. We simplify nth term alone. After simplifying nth term, give n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2. We can get one rhythm. Once you catch the rhythm, Summation can be obtained easily. Summation, once you obtain the uh, summation 1 to infinity of this, automatically it reduces to pi by 4. So, for that, what we do is, I repeat again, it's an IIT problem. Sum to infinity, sum to infinity, 1 to infinity means sum to infinity of a series tan inverse 1 by 1 plus n plus n square is equal to pi by 4. This is the nth term of the series. By giving n is equal to 1, you get tan inverse 1 by 1 plus 1 plus 1 square. By giving n is equal to 2, you get second term tan inverse 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 2 square. By giving n is equal to 9, you get 9th term tan inverse 1 by 1 plus 9 plus 9 square. You go up to infinity. You get that. Uh, you go up to infinity. You get 8 pi by 3. Yes. Now, tan inverse 1, plus 1 by 1 plus n plus n square by n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. 1, etc. We get 5 by 4. Let us see how it 
chapter. Okay. Consider in the term alone. Understand carefully. Tan inverse. Tan inverse. 1 by 1 plus n plus n square. We are writing n into n plus 1. n into n plus 1. That is tan inverse. In the numerator I am writing n plus 1 minus n. 1 plus n into n plus 1. n plus 1 minus n. n plus 1 minus 1 minus n is n, n gets cancelled, we get 1. So 1 is written as n plus 1 minus n. 1 plus n into n plus 1. This is in the form tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus xy. I repeat again, this is in the form tan inverse by writing 1 as n plus 1 minus n. We are getting tan inverse n plus 1 minus n by 1 plus n into n plus 1. This is in the form tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus xy. That is tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. This is nothing but tan inverse n plus 1 minus tan inverse because applying the formula tan inverse x minus tan inverse y is tan inverse x plus x minus y by 1 plus x y. So this is our nth term. We are splitting into 2. We are splitting this into 2. So our nth term is nothing but tan inverse n plus 1 minus tan inverse n. So therefore our nth term reduces to tan inverse n plus 1 understand carefully minus tan inverse n. This is very important. Once you know nth term, once you know nth term, by giving n is equal to 1, by giving n is equal to 1, you get tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse 1. You get tan inverse 1. By giving n is equal to 2, you get tan inverse 3 minus tan inverse 2. We are giving n is equal to 2, 2 plus 1, 3, tan inverse 2. By giving n is equal to 3, we get tan inverse 4 minus tan inverse 3. Catch the rhythm. We get tan inverse 2, tan inverse 1, tan inverse 3, tan inverse 2, tan inverse 4, tan inverse 3, etc. Last term, infinity, infinite number of, that is t infinity, T infinity will be tan inverse infinity plus 1 minus tan inverse. So we get a minus tan inverse infinity. Minus tan inverse infinity. Tan inverse infinity plus 1. See how the terms are cancelling. Here we get tan inverse infinity plus 1 is infinity. Tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse infinity. The how term we are adding all these things. We are adding first term, second term, third term, fourth term, infinite term. Now we are adding like this. By adding, this two term gets cancelled. 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 See how it cancels. See tan inverse 2 minus tan inverse 2. Tan inverse 3 minus tan inverse 3. Tan inverse 4 minus tan inverse 4. Tan inverse in, here infinity, tan inverse infinity. This term will cancel with the previous term. But this term is left out. And this term is left out. Therefore, sum to infinity at summation. The summation of the series 1 to infinity, sigma 1 to infinity Tn, Tn stands for nth term, that is nth term is tan inverse 1 by 1 plus n plus n square, tan is infinity minus tan inverse, tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse 1. Tan inverse infinity is pi by 2, tan inverse 1 is pi by 4, ultimately you get pi by 4. Therefore, the problem is solved. Sum to infinite number of terms of this series having inverse functions is uh, pi by 4. Any difficulty in writing the terms like this? So, first of all, we are splitting the nth term into two. Difference of two terms having inverse functions tan inverse n plus 1 minus tan inverse uh, n. n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, <coughs> given n is equal to infinity we get like this 
terms are cancelling like this and to cancel this term you must have previous term we don't have previous term so therefore terms are cancelling like this uh, this term is left out this term is left out therefore adding all these terms this minus this term is infinity minus tan minus 1 we get pi by 2 minus pi by 4 tan 90 is infinity tan pi by 4 is 1 therefore tan minus 1 is pi by 4 tan minus infinity is pi by 2 so that gives pi by 4 so therefore the sum to infinity of given series is pi by 4 it's a very very interesting IIT problem now we are solving some problems based on another IIT problem sine inverse 2a by 1 plus a square plus sin inverse 2b by 1 plus b square is equal to 2 times tan inverse x. Show that x is equal to a plus b by 1 minus a. Now we are having the given equation sin inverse 2a by 1 plus a square plus sin inverse 2b by 1 plus b square is 2 tan inverse x. This is in terms of sin inverse, that is in terms of sin inverse. Right hand side is in terms of tan inverse. We have to show that x is equal to a plus b by 1 minus a. You take this term, simplify. You take this term, simplify. Substitute in the given equation. Automatically, you can get the answer by applying property of inverse function. For that, we need to simplify sin inverse 2a by 1 plus a square. Let us simplify sin inverse 2a by 1 plus a square. On a similar basis, we can simplify sin inverse 2b by 1 plus b square. Directly, you can attain the result once you simplify this. And uh, substitute these two here in this equation, we are getting automatically x is equal to a plus b by 1 minus ab. Okay. So, first let us take sin inverse sin inverse 2a by 1 plus a square. First term. I am giving substitution a is equal to tan theta. Therefore, theta is automatically tan inverse a. Theta is automatically tan inverse a. Our first term simplifies to sin inverse 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Which in turn, this 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is the formula for sin 2 theta in terms of tan theta. So, sin 2 theta is 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. This is the formula for sin 2 theta in terms of tan theta. Therefore, sin inverse sin 2 theta is 2 theta is equal to 2 theta. That is 2 times theta stands for tan inverse A. Therefore, our first term simplifies to 2 times tan inverse A. Similarly, second term simplifies to sin inverse 2b by 1 plus b square simplifies to 2 times tan inverse b. So, therefore, the given equation, the given equation is 2 times tan inverse a plus 2 times tan inverse b is equal to 2 times tan inverse x. This is the given equation. This is the given equation. Because first term sin inverse 2a by 1 plus a square simplifies to 2 tan inverse a. Similar basis, you get 2 tan inverse b is equal to 2 times tan inverse x. So tan inverse a plus tan inverse b is tan inverse x. We know tan inverse a plus tan inverse b formula that is tan inverse a plus b by 1 minus ab is equal to tan inverse x. So x is equal to automatically a plus b by 1 minus a b. This is what is required. So, we can apply the property, we can give substitution in such a way, ultimately the problem reduces to a very very simple problem that can be solved ultimately. 
simplify all these things. Uh, these are the problems under simplification. Simplify tan inverse cos x minus sin x or cos x plus sin x by cos x minus sin x. So that once you are able to simplify, once you are able to simplify, we can easily process it further. We can differentiate, I told you already, we can differentiate, we can integrate, we can do all sorts of things. Okay. Tan inverse cos x, as such, this is a very big expression, even to differentiate, it takes uh, some time. Or once you simplify, we are reduced to simple form, it's easy for us to differentiate and easy for us to integrate also. So for that, we seek some result. Always, whenever you have tan inverse, try to convert this as tan. Tan inverse tan x, x. Tan inverse tan 2x, 2x, like that. So for that, what we do is, we are simplifying to this particular form. You take cos x out from the numerator. You take cos x out from the numerator. By taking cos x out, sin x by cos x you get here, which is tan x. I repeat again by taking cos x, cos x into 1 here, that cos x comes to the denominator here, so therefore sin x by cos x tan x. Similarly, here also you take cos x 1 minus tan x. So that cos x cos x gets cancelled. Our aim is to convert everything in terms of tan x. Somehow we can seek a formula for uh, some formula for this inside expression. Now, tan inverse, I am replacing 1 by tan pi by 4. We all know tan pi by 4 is 1, therefore we can replace this by tan pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 plus tan x by 1 minus 1 minus tan x I am writing this as tan pi by 4 tan x tan pi by 4 tan x I repeat again this 1 is replaced by tan pi by 4 tan x into 1 this 1 is replaced by tan pi by 4 we are converting we are getting the form tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b we know tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b is tan a plus b. So therefore, therefore this is in the form tan inverse tan pi by 4 plus x. First tan pi by 4 plus x expanding tan pi by 4 tan x by 1 minus tan pi by 4 tan x. So this can be written like this. We are getting a very simple property of inverse function tan inverse tan of pi by 4 plus x which is equal to pi by 4 plus x. So if we call the given expression as y, we are able to express y simple form. If you want to differentiate dy by dx becomes 1. If you want to integrate uh, integral y dx is uh, pi by 4 x plus x squared by 2 plus c. You can uh, differentiate, we can integrate. We can use this expression for some other purpose or we can use this for any purpose. Therefore, whenever you have an inverse function, try to apply, try to apply the formula and reduce it to this form and ultimately we are getting a very simple function which can be used for uh, further manipulation, which can be used for further manipulation. This is also an IIT problem. Problem is tan inverse tan inverse a minus b by 1 plus a b plus tan inverse b minus c by 1 minus b 1 plus b c plus tan inverse c minus a by 1 plus c a is equal to 0. Is again IIT problem, very simple IIT problem. 
anybody can tackle this kind of problems provided you know the results based on this inverse functions tan was a minus b by 1 plus ab can be written as tan was a minus tan was b tan was b minus c by 1 plus bc is written as tan was b minus tan was c tan was c minus a by 1 plus ca is written as tan was c minus tan was a see the results are given at the beginning therefore our left hand side our left hand side simplifies to applying the formula tan inverse a minus tan inverse b second term tan inverse b minus tan inverse c third term tan inverse c minus tan inverse a so tan inverse a gets cancelled one with positive sign one with negative sign tan inverse b gets cancelled one with positive one with negative tan inverse c gets cancelled tan inverse c gets cancelled one with positive one with negative giving exactly zero so therefore the only thing is we are expressing tan inverse a minus b by tan 1 by 1 plus ab as tan inverse a minus tan inverse b it's a very simple problem but at the same time you must know how to express tan as a minus b by 1 plus ab once you express in this form automatically you are getting the answer it's a very very simple iit problem another iit problem i think you can stop with this problem so that next class we can start the solving of trigonometric equations solving of trigonometric equations the problem is tan of pi by 2 plus half cos inverse a by b plus tan of pi by 4 sorry pi by 4 minus half cos inverse a by b is equal to 2b by a first take the problem in this fashion tan of pi by 4 plus half cos inverse a by b plus tan of pi by 4 minus half cos inverse a by b pi by 4 plus half cos inverse a by b pi by 4 minus half cos inverse a by b is equal to 2b by a we are simply replacing this by theta we are simply replacing half of cos inverse a by b by theta therefore this is in the form tan pi by 4 plus theta tan pi by 4 minus theta so therefore we are replacing half of cos inverse a by b as theta therefore our left hand side <coughs> becomes tan pi by 4 plus theta plus tan pi by 4 minus theta i am replacing half of cos inverse a by b by theta we can expand this tan pi by 4 plus tan theta that is 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta we can expand this tan pi by 4 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan pi by 4 tan theta you get 1 plus here 1 minus here okay here 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta so taking lcm simplifying 1 plus tan theta whole square 1 minus tan theta whole square by 1 minus tan square theta we get a 1 plus tan theta whole square 1 minus tan theta whole square a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square 2 times a square plus a square minus plus b square you get 2 times 1 plus tan square theta by 1 minus tan square theta in trigonometry we have seen 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta is cos 2 theta therefore this is nothing but 2 by cos 2 theta we get 2 by cos 2 theta from the given expression 
half of cos inverse a by b is theta, we can write 2 here, 2 theta is cos inverse a by b, therefore cos 2 theta is replaced by a by b, cos 2 theta is replaced by a by b, therefore 2 by cos 2 theta is replaced by a by b, we get a here, b b here, so 2 b by a, which is our required right hand side, so therefore problems can be simplified easily provided you master all the results in trigonometry many problems under inverse functions can be solved many problems under inverse function can be solved okay so there are so many problems we can solve or so many iit problems we can solve but i stop with this thank you